Welcome everyone to a brand new episode of Blue Kaizo. Um, I've had technical issues and for some reason OBS wasn't wanting to record. Uh, I seem to have fixed it by just restarting the software, but it's been very annoying. Yeah, I recorded one episode and I wanted to keep recording and then um, it just it wasn't recording more than five seconds and um, nothing major happened in, the, in that time. I just reset the game so that you could see everything that's happening. Uh, make it super, super fair, yeah. Uh, Mauro did evolve. I did train Eric onto level 18. That happened before I decided to record. That was just grinding um, to train up Oliver and Eric, our brand new team members, yeah. And Mauro did evolve, yeah. So now we have Sun Slash, as you can see down below. Okay, seems like the recording is now fine. Um, so I've lost like half an hour just trying to get that sorted. I don't know what was going on. And alrighty, so I didn't, I purposely didn't get Magic Arp to level 20 so that we could see the evolution happen in real time, right? <laughs> so that we could see the evolution happen in real time. Uh, the matchups are very powerful right now. So I'm gonna go out into Alex this time because Alex's absorb is super, super useful. Yeah? And then. Oliver, our newest team member, the, our capture for um, for Mount Moon, is a pretty cool Pokemon to have. I love Raiden, honestly, I really love Raiden and Rhyhorn, but its move pool doesn't seem that great. Like, I went ahead and checked the Pokedex, and the original, um, the original move pool for Rhyhorn is really bad. Yeah, so we'll have to see if the modifications they made actually help it, but since it didn't learn any move, um, like within the first three levels, I'm not super, uh, super hopeful about it. So we might end up replacing Oliver or boxing Oliver uh, once we have our six team members and then maybe Oliver ends up, if we ever end up losing, um, the clause will activate where at the very least, like I said, I need four Pokemon all the time before I can consider depositing someone to have a fail safe, right? In case we do lose. Um, all of our Pokemon in a playthrough so and that way we can restart with a brand new team okay where we left off so Bugcatcher wants to fight uh, Venonat alrighty so Eric has no business being here against this Venonat table is a little damaged but should be pretty okay as well seven levels higher um, to get side beam as long as we're not confused I'm pretty happy. Yeah, only six damage, no confusion. So fire punch, the recording is still working, so we're all good. Yeah, we're all set for another cool episode of Blue Kaizo. Tablemon suffers playing Blue Kaizo. <laughs> uh, trying to learn slash, that's definitely better than bite, I would say. So let's take away bite. And we learn slash with table that's really nice and now we're up against a B drill so I'm not gonna risk right bring in magic up here even though it would gain a lot of experience I'm just gonna go ahead and fire punch here mm -hmm. Oliver might have been able to take on this B drill but so far so good yeah so far so good I got you bot catcher okay I'm gonna use one potion I do have six, so I feel like I can use one potion on the table just to get it uh, more healed, be at like 85% HP. Beware, Subban is a bloodsucker. Oh, I know. I know. Subban in Gen 1 was so annoying. Like the original Mount Moon with Subban, that was oof, unbearable. You would run into Subban like every, every other step. It was insane and super annoying. All right. So... There is a Clefairy, so that's actually kind of scary, right? I think my best bet against the Clefairy is probably Mauro, I guess. I'm not even sure uh, what Clefairy will want to do. It sinks, right? So I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm actually okay with that. And... Alrighty. They just want to kill the Clefairy. That's really good. Yeah, that's really good to know. That is really good to know. All right. Uh, is this pick a path? There's two paths in front of me. So top or bottom. Okay. 
Diglett. Eric, can you take on a Diglett with your bubbles? Sand attack. Oh, that's gonna be annoying. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother. Oh, Eric, you're so weak. I really need you to become a powerful Giardos. Sand attack again. But Alex has this perfect ice height and goodbye to Diglett's. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, so... Oh wow, there's three paths. Oh, nice. An item. A water stone, okay. Nothing we have kind of all for the water stone though. And it looks like it wasn't pick a path, it was just like, try to get it right. <laughs> Uh, but if you failed once, you wouldn't fail it again. Alright. So like I said, Eric, no business going up against the Clefairy. Absolutely no business going up against Clefairy. Metronome. Sharpen. Alright. So the attack rises. I'm just gonna go for a dig. Just don't Metronome Earthquake and we're good. Rock throw. Perfect. And then dig. If it KO'd the trainer, uh, Clefairy, it should KO a wild Clefairy just the same. And there's some background music <laughs> for your enjoyment. They always come around this hour, I honestly forgot, so I probably should have waited on the recording, but we're committed. Yeah, we are now committed to this next episode. I'm really enjoying, yeah, I'm really enjoying playing this, uh, this game. And reliving the nostalgia. I look forward to actually beating the game. Okay, so gold team. Definitely need Alex here. Uh-oh, uh Peck. That's annoying, but we can just heal it back with Absorb. That's perfectly fine. Uh, that fully heals us. And then another Peck. That's okay. And we won't be at full HP, but we will be at a super healthy HP. And we're not like super super over leveled you know six levels is not that that much it is like a lot more oh eric grows to level 90 nice um it is a lot uh sometimes okay definitely feel like i can switch into eric and then switch my counter to alex just so that eric gains the hp or the xp and like i was saying i don't think i feel like i'm super over leveled Six levels is not that that much. Toxic doesn't affect Alex. Perfect, so nice read. And let's just go for the Vine Whip that should KO. Um, obviously the starter Pokemon are very powerful, so Table and Alex are the stars of the team right now, but Mauro has been putting in a lot of work, and then who knows, yeah, Kyarados could come in really, really handy. I worry about the moveset of Kyarados though, because it's obviously a physical type attacker, right? Hmm. I feel like this will have something Nope. No hidden item. So this is just like troll paths, right? This game has troll paths. Just like uh, Mario games, like Kaizo Mario games, which is where the term comes from. Kaizo Mario has troll stuff. Uh, this also has troll stuff. Okay, Eric, I need you to 2 hit KO this Onyx with your bubble. Oh my god, you almost won KO. Oh, you can totally take that, Eric. You're good. Awesome. This should be a ton of experience. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. That was a good amount of experience. Okay. Eric is getting very close to becoming Gyarados. Okay, yeah. Yeah, they're just troll paths. Just like you have uh, Kaizo blocks. I guess these are Kaizo paths where they don't need anywhere. All right, so Mauro time. Oliver just not getting... I don't see Oliver getting too much action anytime soon. Uh, metronome, please no. Water move growth. Okay, so that raises attack, I believe. Oh no, it's just special. Okay, so we'll go for a dig. No need to risk a sing or a water type metronome, like a hydro pump or something weird, especially when the special uh, got raised by Clefairy's previous metronome. Uh... Another Kaizo path right there at the bottom. And then another pick a path here. Did we pick right? Well, we picked the item, that's good. The leaf stone, okay. So now we have a bunch of stones. 
Uh, we do have a bunch of stones. I wouldn't mind find, like catching an Eevee or getting an Eevee gifted to me. And then we could have that pour into the team. That would be really nice. That would actually be really, really nice. And once again, if you can hear the background music, I hope you can. Like the microphone should be set to that point where it should be very low. But if you can, I apologize. <laughs> I really do apologize. I forgot these people always come around at this hour with their music. I don't particularly enjoy it. I mean, I'm sure some people do. I really don't. Alrighty. Alrighty. Okay, another Clefairy. I'm getting a little tired about these um, encounters, but I really want Gyarados, so I'm gonna keep doing this until Eric... I hope when it evolves, it learns a good move so that it can start taking Pokemon on its own, right? Let's go for a dig. We do need to be careful though, maybe I need to start going for slashes instead because we only have five digs left. And I don't know how long this cave will be. We haven't encountered a single Team Rocket Grunt yet. Alright, so far so good. Now, there's a trainer that we're definitely gonna battle. Don't sneak up on me. What? You snuck up on me. I was just trying to walk through. Alright, so Super Nerd wants to fight Geodude. Okay, so this thing could have self-destruct. Okay, so that's scary. Even though I have a 4 times super effective bubble, I'm not gonna risk it. Yeah, I'm just gonna go out into Alex. Hopefully it goes for a whatever move and then I'll just absorb. No, oh my god. Please, Alex, no. Oh my god, Alex, you legend. <sighs> oh my god, Alex, you are legendary. Oh my god. I thought I lost Alex again. I really thought Alex was a goner right there. If I had full HP Alex, it wouldn't have been that close. Maybe that was a roll. Maybe Alex survived on a percentage chance. <sighs> Jeez. Okay, Alex, you definitely deserve these potions, man. I am so sorry that happened to you. <laughs> That was so freaking scary. I, I I was looking at the HP and I was like, oh my god, it's happening again. <laughs> Alex, you legend. You actually survived. Oh my god. Go through this cave to get to Cerulean City. Yeah, I know, man, but I can't go through if you talk to me and interrupt my progress. Alright, there's Paris. So we're just gonna go out immediately onto table. Oof. Leech life. That's gonna do like one damage. We're now eight levels above. Fire Bunch will do a good chunk, aka AKO. So it is super effective. So, funny anecdote, yeah, when, when I was a kid, right, and I was playing this game for the first time ever, yeah, I, I basically, I went through the whole game with my Blastoise, right, like I didn't like any other, I didn't bother training any other Pokemon, like, ever since I was a kid, I hated the grind, and so I never bothered training up a different Pokemon, right, so I had this, like, level 100 Blastoise, super powerful, and I would keep using Hydro Pump on stuff, and KOing. Right? I would KO grass type Pokemon with my fire, um, with my Hydro Ball, right? But the game would say it's not very effective. And I remember verbally like yelling at the game, asking it like, how is this not very effective? I am KOing the Pokemon in one attack. How is this not very effective? Yeah. 
Um, obviously, I didn't know my typings. I didn't know about weaknesses, resistances, and whatnot. I was just very confused why the game, the game kept telling me it was not very effective. I can't believe I didn't fire punch. I, I should just fire punch. Um, I didn't understand why the game kept telling me um, that an attack was not very effective when it was clearly effective enough to get the KO, right? To get the one KO. So that was me being silly as a as a little kid. <laughs> that was new Pablo. Okay, I'm gonna use this paralyzed hill. I really I've gone too far in the cave. I don't wanna go back to Pokemon Center. I am running low on items though, so maybe I'll have to start running from some encounters. Um Okay. Eric has to be very close to evolving though. Like, very close. Okay. I'll excel healing, it's really good though. Yeah, that's not very effective. So, let's go self heal. Low kick. Okay, I'm gonna just Vine Whip. Just to get the KO. Vine Whip is so much stronger than Absorb, I feel, but Absorb still does a very good chunk a lot of the time and gets Alex some healing, so that's always good. Alright, this maze though. Okay. Change of scenery. Another like Kaizo Paths here. More Kaizo Paths. Okay. The Diglett. Can you take on Diglett, Eric? No, I don't want to risk it. I'm not going to risk it. Yeah. No risk, zero risks. Yeah, we already took a risk with Alex going into Geodude and almost getting self-destructed to oblivion. <laughs> so let's not do that, Pablo. Let's try not to do that. Okay, those slashes are pretty powerful. Bean was a really good team member. Too bad Bean is now gone. Okay, three critical hits. Slash is so broken. Like, I wouldn't mind catching a normal type Pokemon and just slash spamming the whole game. And... Oh, it's blocked. Okay. So the bottom path is blocked as well. So these Kaizo paths. We just have to go to the middle one. Okay. Rhyhorn. Perfect opportunity for Alex to heal. And the double edge should never deal 41 damage, even on a critical hit. And the Absorb will be enough to one kill and then get a lot of HP for Alex. So I appreciate the, the quad weak grass Pokemon. The, yeah, the quad the grass quad weak Pokemon. Whatever. Eric grows to level 20. There we go. And Alex grows to level 24. Very nice. Ah! Oh, what? Hey! I got robbed! <laughs> no! What the heck, man? Oh my god. <sighs> I am so disappointed. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna. That means Eric will have to take a backseat for now. <sighs> I was so sure. Oh, there's a bottom path as well. There's four paths. Okay. I'm putting Alex in front so I can absorb, get more HP, and just have these battles go through faster. Yeah. However, I am running low on PP. Like, I have six absorbs, eight fine webs. Um, I don't miss this one, that's good. So, I might start running from sub battles now. And, oh my god, what a troll! <laughs> what a troll, you. Path. These Kaizo paths are brutal. Okay, I'm just gonna run from the Grimer. You know? I'm pretty well leveled. I want my Pokemon as healthy as possible. So unless I can one-shot the Pokemon. Like, I won't one-shot Paris with Alex, so I'm not even gonna bother. You know? I'm not even gonna bother. Jeez. These Kaizo paths are so annoying. Coughing. Nice looking coughing. I wish they would have incorporated, incorporated shiny Pokemon into this game. Like, you've already modified it. Why not incorporate shiny Pokemon? That's not saying I would have found one, right? But, I don't know. There's always the excitement of the shiny Pokemon. 
And in future Kaizo games, like every other Kaizo game will have shiny Pokemon. So we will have the shiny boss, right? If we catch a shiny Pokemon, we can, if we encounter rather a shiny Pokemon, we can encounter it. I mean, we can catch it, <laughs> jeez. We can catch it, you know, in order to like not lose it, even if we've already caught a Pokemon on that route, okay? So for the future, this, this game will probably, like I'm expecting this game to take like, Anywhere between 30 and 50 episodes at least to complete. Okay, more Kaizo troll paths. At least there's only two, so it's a 50-50 shot. Um, okay, so against Walter, I think this is where I bring in Oliver to take the self-destruct or the explosion. I don't want to risk Alex ever again, like I risked it that other time. Sonic Boom. Not always does 20 damage. Thunder Wave, good job, Walter. Right, well, or we can just take down the Walter with our critical hit double edge. That works too. And give Oliver a little bit of experience. Yeah. That works too. Okay, we chose right. That's good. We chose right. How long is this cave though? Is half an hour even enough to beat the cave? Okay. Jeez, two steps encounter, two steps encounter. Oh my god. Okay, I think I have to stay in now. Because Oliver is now heavily damaged. So I'm gonna use my most powerful attack, which is fine with. If this is a one kill, then we're in the clear. Wow, nowhere near close. And we get paralyzed. No! I should have just ran. Oh, now I can't escape. Oh my god. I should have just ran. Okay, that doesn't do a lot, but now I'm fully paralyzed, unless I want to go back to Pokemon Center, and I really don't want to go back to Pokemon Center. I have two potions. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna run from every encounter now, unless it's a Clefairy or a Coughing with Mara. <sighs> oh, that paralysis is that. Oh my god, no! Heads up! Oh my god, <laughs> I'm nervous. I'm nervous about this battle. Magikarp was a big disappointment because it didn't evolve. Um, Abra, okay, I'm confident I can take on Abra. I'm gonna go for a dig. Oof, okay. A did a good chunk, right? A dig, KO the Abra. Yes, good. Good job, Maru. Maru is a star, man. I love Maru. Okay. Dratini? What the heck? What? 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 How does the Team Rocket Grunt have a Dratini already? Oh, please don't have Dragon Breath. You don't have Dragon Breath. You're, you're just gonna die here to the Slash, to the Critical Hit Slash. Perfect. Okay, so Dragon Breath does 40 damage all the time. Right, so that could have been really scary. But Maru is just a huge star here. So a Rocket Grunt has a Dratini. What's Giovanni gonna have? Mewtwo? Okay, Arbok, scary stuff, right? But weak to ground. Mauro, Mauro is the star. Mauro is the star here. Nice! You blew it. Yes, you did blow it. Oh, I'm so tempted to go to the Pokemon Center, but I feel like I'm about to finish the cave. Okay. Uh, can I one kill Diglett with my Slash? I think I can. Okay. I, if I don't connect here, I'm just gonna run. Yeah, I'm just gonna run. No need to. What? Oh, come on. Let me escape. Oh, Diglett is so good. HP up, okay. I feel like I'm gonna give the HP up to someone. Well, actually, I'm gonna sell the HP up. I'm actually gonna sell the HP up, okay. More Kaizo paths. Doesn't look like we're in the clear at all. Okay. I just, I don't wanna get poisoned, so I feel like I'm just gonna run from this coughing. I really am. Like if Slash doesn't KO it and coughing has pretty high defense, like it's just, it's such a bother. Okay. So yeah, running is now our motto, especially if I want to get out of this cave in half an hour or less. 
Only one team rocket run so far though. Okay, I'm just gonna run. Yeah, just run. Run or dig. I don't know how far, how much left though. Just run, Paolo. Just run. Yeah, just run. No need to risk that self-destruct or explosion. Uh, more Kaizo paths. Okay, we know we KO Club Fairy though, that's good. We definitely know we can KO Club Fairy with our slash. So that's good experience. You know, we have plenty of slashes still left. Even without the crit, I believe we KO, so that's good. Oh my god. Okay, another Club Fairy, that's okay. And another Team Rocket front now. We are up against another Team Rocket front. Yeah, we have to battle it. Because that's probably the way the way forward. <laughs> oh my god, so now we're gonna have to go back and... Okay. They're pulling a big job, apparently. Rocket wants to fight. Drowsy, okay. Man, and these psychic Pokemon, now it's level 19 now. Okay, Mauro, you can do this, right? Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> Hyper Potion. Okay. Get another critical hit and get a high roll this time, Mauro. Yes! Yes! Gosh, Mauro is such a star. Mauro is so good. I don't see Oliver replacing Mauro anytime soon. Okay. Golbat, though. It's a little scarier. Gonna keep Maro in. Golbat is a little scary because Golbat's gonna be faster. Just look at that sprite. Oh my god, no. Yeah, okay. Golbat's special attack sucks. Alright, so that's why Mega Drain did so little. Okay, I'm just gonna switch out into table. You know? Please don't confuse Ray. Please don't do something stupid, Golbat. Mega Drain, perfect. Yeah, heal your 1 HP. Yeah, 2 HP. Fire Punch, no risks. Strongest move I could have entered. I have plenty of Fire Punch. Zero risk, yeah. This Kaizo game, I'm learning the hard way. I cannot take any risks at all. All right, we defeated the rocket, perfect. So you are good, I am good. I don't want to brag, but I am good. All right. And both Mauro and Table grew a level, which is fantastic. Okay, can you take down this coughing with a slash, Mauro? Yes, you can. Perfect. Okay, so we add coughing to the list of Pokemon that we will battle. Oh my god, I just wanted to check if there's an item here. I didn't want to walk so much. Okay, I'm just gonna run from this matchup. There we go, ether, nice, on this rock. I wonder if there were other rocks I didn't check. I'll check that other one. And there was only one path, so it didn't matter which path I chose. I guess choosing the other one would have saved a little bit of time. Running from this bolter, no risks taken. No risks taken. This is a zero risk run now. A risk free zone. A risk free Kaiser run. Now, like eventually, I'm gonna have to take some risks, right? Probably. Uh, two steps and encounter. Two steps and encounter. Okay, and I really wanna fast forward, but I won't. Yeah, I won't. I'm hoping the end of the cave is near. We've only battled two team, team rocket people, though. God, four steps encounter. There's a Clefairy infestation in Mount Moon. Catching, like catching the whole Pokedex could be really cool though. Catching the whole Pokedex could be really, really cool. Okay, Kaizo Path, nope, that's good. Oh, if I see more areas though. Nope, these rocks have nothing. Another trainer, okay. Is it time to use a potion? On Mauro? I think so. Jeez, all my Pokemon are kind of like... Okay. I'm gonna use my last two potions. I'm not happy about it. Mm -hmm. Okay, 
I think I'm gonna battle this guy and that's where we're gonna finish this episode. Did you come to explore too? Yes, I did. Well, no, I just wanna get to Cerulean City, man. Just let me through. Three Pokemon, okay. Subat, okay, that's not super scary. Yeah, Mara should be able to handle Subat, even be faster and KO with a slash. Perfect. These critical hits are awesome. Okay, Krabby. Yes, we definitely want to switch our Krabby into, I mean, Maro into Alex to battle this Krabby, level 18 Krabby. But you got this, Alex. Just absorb the heck out of that Krabby. Yeah, Crab Hammer, a critical hit does six damage. You are perfectly fine. And you get to heal. Right, we're out of potions, but you get to fully heal Alex, basically. Crab Hammer even misses, right? Alex, the legend, is not paralyzed. Get a bunch of experience. Okay, far fetched. Nice, far fetched. Okay, I think it's time for table to get a little screen time um, and just fire punch the far fetched. Goodbye, far fetched. <laughs> far fetched looks so wonky here. Oh wow, that wasn't even a KO. Substitute, you can't substitute, bro. Nice. Okay, now I can use my weakest move, which is Ember, at that range for sure. Nice. Very nice. Okay. Left the battle on Scathe. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. More Kaizo Paths. Okay, let's check these Kaizo Paths and then... Unless one of them leads to the exit, which I doubt, yeah. Okay. There's... Five paths, oh my god. And of course I picked the wrong one. Okay, the left one seems to be the right one. Oh, the right one has the... Okay, whatever. So it's the first one and then either the second or the fifth one. Okay. Thunderstone, okay. All right, 32 minutes, yeah. Let's, I'm just gonna do the last one. See where that takes me, okay. It takes me to the trainer. All right, so we'll finish the episode after this battle. Yeah. Hopefully there's no tragedy in this battle to close out the episode. It being a hiker though, probably has, yeah. Well, he has the ground types, so Alex will be able to just take them on. Um, I'm almost out of digs. The ledge misses, of course. And there's the dig, super effective. Mauro is powerful. Mauro is power. Machop, okay. We're gonna let Table handle Machop. Yeah, just to keep Mauro healthy and save the last dig. I can't believe I'm having to worry about PPs here. Okay. Uh, we don't KO the Machop. That low kick will do 14 damage. That's okay. So goodbye Machop now. And Psyduck. Okay. So I'm a little scared for Alex because Psyduck can have psychic moves. But we're hoping a Vine Whip will be more than enough, right? Psybeam, if I get confused, I'm in paralysis and that could be annoying. No confusion, no paralysis, that's really good. So just get the KO here, perfect. Alex the legend, the legend of Alex. Grows to level 25, alrighty. So we defeat the hiker, that's good. All right, so half an hour exploring Mount Moon, that's where I'm gonna leave the episode for now. Um, next episode I will start right here. Um, I won't go back to the Pokemon Center. I really want to, but I won't, okay? And hopefully we're about to leave Mount Moon and then we get to Cerulean City on the way we get another encounter and maybe we'll battle Misty in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like. It really helps out the channel and these videos and I will see you next time. Bye!